What's going on guys? Today we have some more retro footage from the old school stereo video library of something I haven't shown before. This is from 2013 and it's the original old school stereo test bench with the huge resistor bank that I had built inside of a computer case, the O-scope, the DD1, all the fun stuff, and the huge power supply that sounds like a bandsaw too. So check out the video. Let me know what you think. If you want to see a new updated version, something like this with my new test bench, let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, check out the video. We'll see you at the end. What's up guys? Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. We're going to take a few minutes to go over the testing methods at the Old School Stereo test bench. All right, first up, we have a very crucial component here of the test bench, which is the uh, 250 amp variable power supply. We can go anywhere from 10 amps all the way up to 18. For most of my tests, I'll go between 12 and 15. And we also use a Klein Tools CL2000. And this is a clamp, but we use it for testing the current that is pulled from the supply from the amplifier to the amplifier, I should say, to power it. So that's what we use our clamp for, to measure the amp pull from the supply. All right, and if you guys remember some of my earlier videos, you may remember this NAD preamp. What we have is a 40 hertz test tone from the DD1 disc that we run into the CD input of the preamp and we verified clean output on this up to 14 volts of clean output with no distortion. And for the 1% THD detection, we use the SMD DD1 and test tones at either 40 hertz or 1 kilohertz. And for checking the signal out during the test, we have this Valaimon HPS50, which also displays wattage output at 2 ohms, 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 16 ohms. At 1 ohm, we have to use the volts RMS uh, setting. And here we have the Big Daddy resistor bank. We have 3,840 watts total of resistors. And we have them set up so they can be wired anywhere from 8 ohms all the way down to a half of an ohm. Uh, unfortunately, it's not an easy method to switch these as the 81 with just buttons. But... Um, you know, this is what we have to do for, for the budget setup. These are power resistors, and each one of these is 120 watts. And we have um, 16, no, sorry, we have 32 total. So you can see 16 here, and there's another bank behind it that you can't see for another 16. So we have 3,840 watts total of power resistors. So the way the resistors work, I have them set up sort of like speaker leads. I have them coming off um, and they're going to these ring terminals, which then I can go into, uh, in this case, 12 gauge wire. And we have the Orion uh, 225 HCCA hooked up here and we're just testing bridged output. But um, I can rewire this with, with jumpers, jumper wires between to reset the ohm load. Right now it's set at two ohms and we're going to do a 2 ohm mono demo here shortly. And here's another O-scope that we have. This is the BK Precision 2120. And right now I'm not using it because I don't have another set of um, leads. So I'm going to get me some more and uh, that way we can, we can see the signal on this one is much faster refresh rate than the Vlamon. A lot of you have noticed that in the past. It's pretty slow at keeping up. So we're going to use this one in the near future the B and K model 2120. All right, you can probably hear the massive power supply running in the background. It's, uh, it's pretty beefy. It's a solid state one with a custom wound uh, toroid in it. Power supply, it's just, it's massive. Anyway, what I did was I hooked up the, um, the fluke here to the power leads right where the amp hooks in. So that's as close as I could get it to the amplifier and we've got it set at, as you can see, 14.53 volts. We've verified our ohm load is two ohms. So with that, we have the Vlamon set at two ohms. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna give it a test, see what kind of power we can get out. At 14.5 volts, this is, turn the DD1 back on. This is again a 40 hertz test tone, two ohms worth of resistance. 
get it a little closer here so you can see and watch the DD1 for the red light and also watch the clipping. Looks like 345.8. Yep, about three. Well, at 345.8, so really around 350, because you notice the next one up was about 360. So we'll say 346 is a, you know, is a good sign before it hits 1%. Now, if we're talking 1% distortion, then we're going to look right when the light comes on, because that's when you get 1% distortion. I think that was around. Look at that, three. 380.8 you see there's no light on there 380.8 so at 381 is when we get one percent distortion pretty powerful she's still cool many of you guys have been asking about the little orion red 225 h cca so i said what the heck let's throw it on the bench here we have it connected mono to a two ohm resistive load and as you can see, we're feeding it 14.53 volts from the massive power supply that's making all the racket in the background, which is adjustable. But for this test, we're going to leave it at 14.5 volts and we're going to test the output. So we're going to monitor with the O-scope and we're also going to monitor with the DD1 to see when we hit 1% distortion. So let's check it out. You can see the 40 hertz detect signal there. Crank it up. Clean sine wave. There we see the light at 390.6. So 390.6 is when we hit the 1% distortion. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at, see how much current we're pulling at 3. We're pulling 45 amps, and you can see the voltage just very slightly dropped to 14.1. That's pretty impressive, guys. The Orion 225 HCCA digital reference. This amp is stable at 1 ohm mono, or 1 half ohm stereo, so <laughs> still got a ways to go. Sweet. All right, guys, the Orion 225 HCCA second generation. We have it wired for one ohm mono resistive load 40 hertz test tone and we can't do watts here on the screen so you have to watch the volts and just to give you a, a hint 20 volts will give us 400 watts gives you an idea so we have distortion 19.27 according to the DD1, 18.95 according to the O-scope. That's where we have clean power. Let's check the uh, current pull. Crank it back up real quick. It looks like our voltage dropped to right around 14. Right about there. We're pulling about 61 amps and yeah we dropped to about 13.98. Alright just for kicks we bumped up the input voltage to 15 so that uh, when we load it down we should get it right around 14 and a half volts so let's try it again 40 hertz test tone one ohm mono see if we can get over 20 volts right about there 19.27 18.95 about the same when we hit the one percent distortion so it's a little under 400 watts at one ohm mono and here's another test I told you guys I would do. This amp feels kind of warm, so let's check out the temperature. Check it out, 123.5 or so right there on the heat sink. Might not fry eggs, but it's pretty warm. 123 degrees after running at 1 ohm mono for a few minutes here. Again, this is a stock 225 HCCA, not been recapped. It's not even had the tape put back on or anything it's just how I got it so I mean I'm sure if it had a few tweaks done to bring it up to date 
you know, probably just to make it safe. I'm surprised the cap, the caps didn't explode on me because it's as old as it is. But uh, anyway, just interesting. Thought you guys would like to see the test of the Orion 225HCCA. Stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. There will be more amp tests coming. Biggie Wiz. Oh, schoolstare.com. I'm out of here. All right, guys, just for kicks, I threw a one kilohertz tone. We're still running one ohm mono. Um, of course, the amp is bridged. Just threw in a one kilohertz. You'll see on the DD1, it's detecting one kilohertz. So let's see if it does any more power than the 40 hertz. My bets are it does slightly more. Well, 19.2, nope, 18.95, same. Again, the, when the light on the DD1 comes on, I'm trying not to leave it there for too long because I'm, um, I'm stressing the amp. It's pretty hot right now. But um, trying to get a good idea of where it actually hits the 1%. Again, a lot of you say, you know, just look at the O-scope. But this O-scope doesn't have a real good refresh rate. So... I'm relying on the 1% detection of the DD1 just because it has been calibrated. Yeah, 18.95 appears to be. Well, so it's, it's the same. So anyway, there you go. Now, whoo, that joker is hot. Let's see how hot it is. All right, here we have our Raytec Mini Temp MT6. Woo, 138, almost 139. Get, get some eggs out, we'll start frying. You big dummy. And according to Ohm's Law, here's our measurement. Oh, I did 18.98, it's actually 18, 18.95. There you can see the wattage output, 359 watts at one ohm. Well, there you have it, the extra footage I promised you of the old test bench from 2013. Again, this is my second YouTube channel. Call it Williston Audio Extras. If you like kind of the behind the scenes stuff, that's the type of videos you're going to see on this channel, as well as some extra stuff that I just wouldn't show on the other one. But make sure you're subscribed below if you haven't already. And yeah, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time. Big D, I'm out of here. Sorry.